We are at Epcot, just waiting with all the other food and winers. It's opening weekend and Labor Day weekend, so I'm pretty sure this is about to be a packed park. And Jamie and I are about to stand in line for Frozen because we have never stood in the full queue for it. So we're gonna check it out. Even if we have to wait forever, we're just gonna do it because we like that ride. There is the Guardians of the Galaxy ride building. It's popped up pretty quickly. And you can see Spaceship Earth back there, right there. So it's pretty packed if you can't tell. But we're just gonna take deep breaths and try to deal with our crowd level anxiety and just shop. And if it gets overwhelming, we'll just roll on to Hollywood Studios, right? Yeah. my bag we're like not looking out on the souvenirs that we want to find we oh. did see the haunted mansion duties yesterday but that's not in my budget <laughs> so so much for that so we're gonna go try a booth i think we're headed where are we headed like mexico area yeah we're gonna start opposite way i guess where people normally go i always start in mexico but I'm weird. Yeah. I like going clockwise through the World Tour Showcase. Coming in to Norway now. It's a 50 minute wait. It's not too bad. We gonna do it?
I'm sorry, we already dug in. We had the Hawaii booth. We got the tuna, tuna and yeah, tuna tataki and some spam hash. It's really good. Tuna is really good. I already ate a bite. Walking around, hooting while there's so many people here. We're having over towards out of here. Yeah, this is way too many. It is like this all season or anything, it just because the first week. Look at that monorail. Look at that monorail. It works out. All right, next stop is. Wine and dine. Wine and dine. We got the scallops and the butternut squash ravioli. Yum. So Jamie and I decided, well, Jamie decided, I decided. that we we're going to start doing pin trading. So we got a little mystery set and it's the Disney attractions one and we're getting ready to open it. I'll show Let's you what we got. Pin number one is... Oh, <gasps> yeah! Yeah, Yay! the one we wanted. It's Madame Leota's ring. Yeah, with the hitchhiking ghost. Heck yeah, okay. I like that one. Pin number two. Let's see. Oh, I want to look at it up close. Look how cool that looks. Pin number two I'm super excited about. Okay, I don't want to know. Put it in my hand. I'm going to show the camera. Is that side down or right side up? That is... Put it right side up in my hand. Ooh, it's the dragon. It's Maleficent. Ah, this is a festival of fantasy dragon. Yeah. Cool. All I right, like I that. like these mystery pins. Those were cool. Neat, because he's my new favorite. And we got the 2018 food and wine pin for this year because it's our first time at food and wine and, and we're pin trading. It's where we started. Where we started pin trading and then we got a lanyard too. Yes. Which is generic. It was just generic and it was the only one under ten dollars and we didn't want to buy one of those starter pins. Because yep. we didn't like any of the pins in them. Right. So anyway, we're off to go to Hollywood Studios now. Yep. We're about to go visit Toy Story Land. <laughs>